your web browser is vulnerable and your information is exposed. So in this video, I will share with you some settings to change on Google Chrome to keep you safe. So come and watch. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, consider to subscribe. And this is a new episode of a cybersecurity series and I will leave the link to this series in the description box below. In this video, we'll talk about Google Chrome security settings that will help you to prevent some attacks and to mitigate some risks. So first you need to update your Google Chrome and here is a new version, which is 79 that has many security features and it, it's fixed about 51 security issues. And this new version is providing a kind of password protection and this new version will warn you when your password has been stolen as part of a data breach and then will tell you to update and to change your password to keep your password secure. Now let's jump into the browser, open your Google Chrome browser. And first thing we want to know which version we are here. And you can check your, your browser version by clicking on this menu at the corner here, these three dots, click on it and then go to setting. From there, you can go to about Chrome and here you can see what is your current version. So this will be updated uh, as soon as you get into this page, if it is not up to date. And this is the latest version uh, that I just updated. And as I told you, has a lot of security fixes. So let's start doing some changes that will help you to protect your data, your information and your privacy. This will increase your security level and will uh, mitigate the security risks. So first of all, you can go to this menu at the top at the corner, clicking on these three dots and then go to the settings. Now let's go to the advanced section and here to the privacy and security first. Here we have some settings that we need to change and one of them is track your data, your browsing data and your information. And this is one of the things that you need to turn it on. So make it on. The second option is this allow site to check if you have payment methods saved. So uh, it's much better to keep it uh, off that will reduce the security threats. The next security setting that we want to work on is by going to site settings here, click on it and we'll start from the permissions. And here we have cookies and site data. So click on this option and make sure to check this option on. Here you are blocking the third party cookies. It's a good practice if you want to increase the, the security level of your browser is to clear the cookies and the site data when you quit Chrome. This is off by default and you can turn it on. Going back and here we can go to another option that you can do here by uh, clicking on uh, pop-ups and here you can block, make sure this is off to block the pop-ups. These are some windows that can be opened without your uh, permission going back. And we have more options here. If you are sick of the ads, then here you can block the ads some of the ads it will not block every ad just the misleading ads and here you can turn it off keep it like this and you can see the blocked on site that shows a misleading ad so make sure this is off going back and now you can scroll down and we have more options to adjust here we have an sandboxed plugin access an option that some plugins can still able to access your information on other processes or another web pages. So make this off and do not allow any site to use a plugin to access your computer. 
and this is a restricted mode that will help to improve and, and level up your security so let's go to the next one here so make sure to turn this option off and now you can see do not allow site to see text and images copied to the clipboard now we have more to do and make sure to watch the video to the end there are a lot of good information and as we mentioned there is no one secret option that you can turn on to make your system secure so you have to secure your uh, windows computers your uh, network uh, and even your phone and i have some videos about how to secure your iphone and i will leave the link to this video in the description box plus and the card here above let's go next to other options and these are very important ones and here you can go to the extensions you need to know what extensions or plugins that you have on your browser and these are all the installed and which ones are uh, needed and which ones i have to get rid of them because they can access some of your information and you may you want to make sure that you are downloading and installing some plugins from trusted sources and this is a big security issue if you are downloading and installing some plugins from a non source so here we have some plugins you can disable them you can remove so go ahead and remove uh, any ones that you don't need or any suspicious ones i will go ahead and remove uh, this one this has very wide access to my site and you can see here uh, allow the extension to read and, and change all your data on website you visit so look at this and by this way it will read from all the sites that you are looking uh, for if it if you know that you need this extension or this plugin so make sure to limit the the access to the level that you want so going back i will remove this one i don't want it and remove it so it's removed and you can keep going and it's good practice to add a plugins of your antivirus and this will protect and watch your online activities so here again uh, you can see on the top here on this panel all the plugins here i can click on this one or any one that i don't want so you can right click on it and you can remove it this is another way to remove those plugins from your system i will leave you with some of my videos my other videos to watch that will help you to improve your security remember to like this video see you in the coming video